Today's reading is Lilum, an entry from the Monsco Encyclopedia book series. A general term for the daughters of the demon lord who possess both incredible magical power and the beauty that captivates men and won't let them go. They have pale skin and pure white hair, which they share in common with the demon lord and red eyes full of demon mana. Other than that, their looks and personality all vary depending on the individual, but all of the Lilums have a lustful personality and their heads are full of thought of sex, as is becoming of a succubus. They have a deep love for all men and monsters. They want nothing other than for humans and monsters to live together in harmony, seeking each other's bodies and lustfully having sex. To them, that is the ideal form of human-monster relations, and that is what they like more than anything else. They have the greatest power of all succubi, but even if they don't use their power for charm spells, almost all men would become their prisoners after only catching a glimpse of their visage. Even without using words of temptation, men are aroused at the sight of them and consumed by total lust. If they tempt a man even without magic, there is no element or force even necessary. The men themselves will step forward to offer their bodies, desiring to be ravaged by them. It is said that even if a man charmed by them had been a monster-hating, devout follower of the chief god only moments earlier, from then onwards he would be eagerly looking forward to the devilish pleasure they can offer. They have the power to rule over many men, but no matter what, their goal is the same as most other monsters and their own mother, the demon lord, to find the man they love the most in all the world and always be strongly longing for one another and lustfully having sex. In other words, all they want is to become one with their ideal husband. Just like the Demon Lord, they are beings that have the demon mana of all the monsters in the world contained within their bodies, just like the Demon Lord. They have the ability to cause human women to be reborn as any monster race through having sex, as long as the resulting race is one of those that is subordinate to the Demon Lord and always was, or has effectively become entirely a monster race. In order to create an ideal world, they will aggressively try to convert human women into monsters, the race the woman ends up getting transformed into varies depending on the individual, the time, and other circumstances. Sometimes the women are changed into monsters that suits their personality and ideals, but most of the time the Lilum just decides the race depending on their mood. They are the symbol of the Demon Lord's power. The more their numbers increase, the more sex the Demon Lord has had with her husband, and the more the vast power she has built up has become. Also, by continuing to have sex with their husbands and building up power, the world becomes more saturated with succubus's mana. This has the function of maintaining the present system of the Demon Lord and monsters. If they are raised into succubi of enormous power as successors of the Demon Lord, then even if the Demon Lord was killed or destroyed by the Chief God, the world would still be full of demon mana and the current world of carnal relations between humans and monsters could still be maintained.